Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, so it's been a while, so a lot has happened. A lot has happened. <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing this video. Um, <laughs> since UK is on lockdown and other countries are similar and such, I am going to be recommending TV shows on Netflix. I'm going for seven. Just so you know. If I forget one, let me know. Because I'm not completely awake. And my house is full of people. So yeah. First TV show I'm recommending is Anthony. So, as you may know, I have read the first two books of the series it's loosely based on, and yeah, it's really good. Both are really good. I particularly love the TV show because it is really good. Honestly, watch it, you'll love it. It's, it's like, you automatically get attached to characters. That rarely happens with me, unless they're a handale. <laughs> no, it doesn't even do it's too much. It's the only get attached to handales at this point. No, wait, it's all on shelf. <laughs> See? Yeah, this is also a season, so I'm doing well. <sighs> what was I? Oh, yes, and for me. Okay, and. Gosh. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Um, it's really good, and on and it just is. It's just good. That's all I can really say about going to spoilers. It's really good. Okay, second show I'm gonna recommend is One Day at a Time because I love it so much. Obviously, Netflix cancelled it, and now it's being picked up by Pop TV, and it is actually as the clip. The sneak peek for the for season four, and it has uh, one of to say it's like there's nothing good on Netflix anymore. And honestly, you gotta love the shade. Let's be honest here. So yeah. So yeah. So you know, um, in case you don't know, um, it deals with a single t Tina mother with her children and grandmother. And her landlord and her boss. <laughs> That's all I can really say <laughs> without spoiling the entire thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's really good. Netflix were wrong to have that. Okay, third show I'm going to recommend. Yes, I hold a freeze like this, people always judge me for it. <sighs> the third show I'm going to recommend is probably what more of something you do, but associated with me. Elite slash Elite, okay, it has murder, it has romance, it has gay romance, <laughs> it has everything I need to love it. Oh, it's also just a mystery element. It does flashbacks, which I love, and it doesn't hurt that the, the cat is very attractive. <laughs> If you can guess who I'm attracted to, <laughs> if you've watched it or at least seen trailer for it, you know, look at and you can figure out who I'm attracted to. I will applaud you. I don't know. I'll do something. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's pretty much fancy, fancy for all of us people. It's free scholars for kids, and there's murder. <laughs> That's all I can say about this one the entire thing. So, yeah. Now, yeah, the fourth, yes, 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 I hold it fourth way too. <laughs> so, the fourth one I'm recommending is Maya. Now, this, it, it, it's about a group. A witch and a woman who wrote a story based on this witch 
And finally, this gives the woman. No, this gives the what's power the fact the woman's return a password. That's everything might be as well. Okay. It's about which I'm a person who wrote a story about which. I hit my hand. <laughs> yeah, so it's really good. I recommend like for that uh, elite uh, my aunt would watch it in the original languages, but for my aunt, if you don't want to, I recommend the English one just because it's so just a good design because the lips don't matter and it makes it slightly scarier. Okay, next one I'm recommending. Now, most people probably watch this at the States, but whatever. Is Haunting of Hell House. This season 2 is a pretty good coming soon anyway. I don't know about season 2, I only know about season 1. <laughs> I recommend it if you want scary. Although, uh, do not watch it alone in your house because you'll get scared, because you'll get jump scared by anything moving. <sighs> oh, a fun tip if you're watching it, look out for all the hidden ghosts. It, it helps with the mood. <laughs> Yeah, so where was I? Um, this bit, so I realized I'll call you EP that bit of my card. <laughs> um, yeah, so Plenty of Us, sixth one I'm going to recommend is Umbrella Academy. You knew it was coming, okay. Just watch it for Klaus, to be honest. Just watch it for Klaus. Everyone else. Mm, okay, not everyone else, like. Bye school, bye school, and um, Ben. Ben's okay. You can watch it for Lamphy if you want. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's really good. I reckon, highly recommend. Pretty much, dysfunctional family superheroes after their superheroes. <laughs> yeah, so then for seven, I recommend Fee Wars. Now, if you know me, you know I have a little thing. Okay, I've got a big thing for Ian Somholder. I recommend watching V Wars. Not just for him, but he is a big part of why I originally watched it, but it's actually really good. Okay, except for the fact they call Vampire's Bloods, but that's beside the point. That's beside the point. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna add another one because. You know what, there's probably one person who hasn't seen it. I doubt it. But I recommend a series of first events. Now, while it isn't perfect, it is good. Oh, and you know, the theme's pretty good, although the stupid spyglass thing's still annoying. There was no spyglass. They knew nothing about their parents until. The Agmas told them. Okay. Sorry, that's it. Just annoys a bit. Just annoys me. You know. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, you know. What it? Yeah, seriously. I'm not gonna survive these this this lockdown with this friends. I I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to go siphon, like I clip it and you know. Finally, embrace my full emo. It will be, soon. It'll be long enough to sign there. That's real because yeah, it's hell. so. Yeah, those are eight movies I recommend. Yes, I am holding up eight weird. Don't call me out. This is how I count. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, in case you're wondering why there's a massive gap. Um, I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be getting Jay of Gold soon by Sinclair, and I made space for it because it's a hardback, and I think it might be one of these big ones, so it might just fit in there. So yeah, <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this mess. <sighs> I'm Rachel Reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.